One of the legacies parents and guardians can leave for their children is investment in the real estate sector within and outside Nigeria. This was one of the subjects at a conversation on real estate which held in Lagos to explore opportunities available in that space. Uh, some top CEOs in the housing sector say that the players should not limit their investments within the country. Also, another keynote speaker, Mr. Jeremy Savory, says opportunities are open for Nigerians to have double citizenship. Real estate is, um, in, the, in the global sense, there are a few things that actually are, very, are the key things in invest, as an investment. You talk about agriculture and you talk about real estate. And limiting yourself to a particular country because of real estate is actually limiting your investments. Yes, we do have 12, 12 million deficit in Nigeria and that will be catered for. But we also have great opportunities outside the shores of Nigeria where there's a very high demand for real estate. So if you're already making money in Nigeria or you have the funds to do that, why don't you you know, open up your tentacles and go outside the country and explore how you can make money from other countries as well instead of limiting yourself only to Nigeria. Portugal got a visa. In Portugal, the investment threshold is 280,000 euros. From this, you need to purchase a property that uh, qualifies for the government uh, criteria, which qualifies for uh, the, the residency program, the Portuguese uh, Golden Visa. From this, uh, you are able to take your application, submit it to the government, and uh, then there is a period of time where you, you have a residency uh, which will commence after you've done your biometrics. So you need to physically travel to Portugal to do your biometrics. And then afterwards, the residency uh, has to be renewed every two years. After a period of uh, three uh, renewals, let's say five to six years, you can then apply for the citizenship.